Regan Slaymaker for International Boxing. It's a pleasure to be joined by Ebony Jones. Ebony, how are you today, mate? Yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Perfect. I mean, tough session in there today. I mean, yeah. How was that for you? Isn't it? It's always uh, tough on a Monday, but it's good to start the week off like that. So, uh, because on a Monday we all train together, yeah. so it's good. Perfect. Obviously, a tough sparring set, like, jo like a joint sparring set. Yeah, body sparring. Perfect, mate. I mean, you, you're kind of one of the dare I say, one of the newest members of the Steel City stable at the moment. Uh, yeah, one of the newer ones. Yeah. Gonna, I was going to say, how how has like your development been? Obviously, you were just touching off camera. You think you hate watching your fights before pre Steel City because yeah. you feel like you've improved so much. But how has your kind of development been under uh, Pierce and Grant? Yeah, it's been great. Like when I first when I come here, I sort of got to uh, Pierce sort of took me back to basics and stuff. And everyone knows I, I can fight and be aggressive, but it's all good to just go back to the boxing and, and then because I, I am technical I can box as well to sort of show that side and you're not going to win all your fights just sort of uh, just being scrappy and fighting and stuff so it's definitely, yeah. definitely mate obviously you fought on July 8th as well I mean how do you reflect on that performance of your first yeah. fight under Pearson Grant as well yeah I think I think it was good I think it was a major improvement um sort of sticking to the boxing and especially get someone who she was a lot bigger than me and um, and I thought I won it comfortably. So yeah, me and Pierce, we was, we was happy with that. Perfect, glad to hear it. And you were just said, you were saying obviously not only kind of Pierce and Grant, but when you were doing your body sparring there, Sonny was kind of, I was watching it very like carefully, Sonny was kind of like teaching you in yeah. there about defence when you're up against the ropes. What is it like kind of having not obviously you've got Dawn in here, Janae, yeah. and Nico and that, but obviously he's suddenly world champion, top of, top of his division now, but he's also kind of teaching you that kind of in-ring experience. Well. Yeah. How's, what's that like? I love it. I feel grateful to sort of be around the champions like I am, um, learning from them and obviously just, just being around them. and They're an inspiration to me, to where I want to be. So yeah, I'm just grateful to sort of be in that gym, uh, gym environment, world class coaching and world class fighters. Definitely, I mean, everyone here is world class. I mean, watching you guys firsthand is a next level thing. I love, I love it. Talking yeah. about world, world class experience, you were sparring Dina Thorsler in, yeah. in Denmark, the WBO band, bantamweight champion ahead of her unification. I mean, how was that whole experience for you? Yeah, that was great. I've um, been, like, been to a lot of countries with boxing and stuff like that, through like GB and stuff, but I've never been to Denmark, so I, I just got the phone call from uh, Lee, my manager, to say, do you want to go to Denmark for the week? Um, so just said, yeah, straight away. And we got, we got loads of rounds in. Yeah, it was a good experience. Perfect, because you just touched on Lee there. You're starting to let's go management yeah. as well. How, what's that experience like? I feel like if you want to be an active kind of de developing fighter, you sign with Lee and let's go. What, yeah. how, has that, how has that been since you've signed with them? Yeah, Lee, he's a great manager. All you've got to do is look, look at the fighters he's got and look what he's done for them. Uh, Especially the women in the band and weight, super band and weight. So, and yeah, I'm just happy to have him as a manager. Perfect, mate. Obviously, I was just talking to uh, the coach Pierce, obviously out yeah. outside, and he was saying the kind of you you want to kind of look at titles this year. Obviously, yeah. the Commonwealth title, the European title, their titles that are kind of becoming more prominent in the, in the female code as well. Is, yeah. it, is it kind of a, are those titles something that you're looking for? Yeah, I'd love to fight for a title or something even international, domestic level. Like there's plenty of girls out there to fight um, hopefully get something this year I could fight someone like Stevie Levy say for a title um, so it's definitely something we're looking at um, but I'd love to get yeah I'd love to get two more in this year two fights perfect how, how does a fight with yourself and Stevie Levy go obviously you're both kind of big personalities for on the biggest stage yeah. how does that fight go I think it would be an interesting fight I think a lot of people would be interested to see it um, obviously I'm confident in my ability and especially moving gym and stuff like that now so yeah, I'd, I'd win that. Perfect, well we're looking forward to seeing that one mate. And uh, my final question, Ebony, thank you for giving me your time today. We ask everyone on the channel this, uh, what does boxing mean to you? Um, boxing means, probably the answer cliche, boxing is everything to me, it's my whole life. Uh, without boxing, I don't know what I'd be doing. <laughs> I wouldn't be happy, that's for sure. Perfect, Ebony Jones, thank you very much. Thank you, cheers.